Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, here again we have another case study. Interesting and very helpful uh, case we had before. In this case we have a 50 years old diabetic male came to the emergency at midnight. Uh, based on those uh, symptom and lab and EKG test, uh, cardiac enzyme, EKG, and all other clinical history and physical exam, patient with diagnosed acute coronary syndrome has been admitted to the ICU. Since the hemodynamic of patient was stable with consultation of cardiologist, the doctor of ER decided uh, uh, made a schedule for the angiography at early morning. Around uh, five to five to six morning, patient developed severe chest pain again, more than the beginning, shortness of breath, and hemodynamically unstable, up blood pressure a little, and so on. So uh, the echo stat has been done on patient and this apical four view, apical four chamber view has been taken. Question one, at least name four abnormal finding on this apical four These four, there are more, but you can give me the name of the four uh, significant and very obvious findings. Second, what is the most probably coronary which coronary artery involved in this? Most probably, almost 100. You can say this one has been involved. And uh, question three, which of the myocardial infarction complication on this case is very probable? Is most probably this patient have it? For that patient, based on those uh, primary images, uh, the Doppler scan for the tricuspid regurgitation has been taken to evaluate the pressure, as you see here. Besides of the TR, first of all, what another abnormality you can see on this Doppler? And the second or question five, with this finding, tech should be done. If you are, if you were tech with just these two, uh, what should you do? Next, based on those findings, the tech goes and focus more investig and do more investigation and find this jet. Now, what is diagnosis? On that jet, take to Doppler continuous and obtain this Doppler. How much will be pulmonary systolic pressure on the patient? Uh, assume the systolic blood pressure of the patient is 130 millimercury. You can use a computer or whatever calculator. Now let's see what those answers will be one by one. 